Happy Tom pressed a big red button, and the spaceship's engines roared to life. They soared into the sky, higher and higher, leaving the Earth behind. Max watched in wonder as the stars grew closer and brighter. Look, Daddy! Max exclaimed, pointing out the window. There's a comet! Yes, Daddy Tom said. And over there is the Milky Way. After a while, Daddy Tom said, We're approaching the star we want to visit. Let's How amazing was that video you just saw? The best part is that it was created using just one powerful software. Hey, and welcome to the future of AI, everyone. This video is a special treat for you all. My AI-generated children's animated story from a year ago received so much love and hype and people really embraced the idea. However, back then, AI tools weren't powerful enough to consistently generate high-quality professional images and scripts. Now, I've, I've found a perfect, powerful software that has all the AI tools we need to create stunning animated stories. It's incredible to see that people are still earning thousands of dollars per month with AI-generated children's stories. And this genre continues to be popular because kids love these videos. First, head over to Wondershare Filmora's official website. You'll want to download the software for your Windows computer. Just click on free download and follow the simple installation steps. It's pretty straightforward. Once installed, sign up with your Google account. After signing up, open Filmora and you're ready to go. Now to start creating our animated children's story, we need a captivating script. We'll use Filmora's tools for this. On the Filmora interface, you'll find the AI toolbox option. Click on it. This section has a variety of AI tools, but for generating a script, we want AI copywriting. The best part of this tool is its ability to help you specify the type of writing you need. The more specific your prompts, the better the results you'll get. The tool will ask you what you're going to write and provide you with plenty of options. Since I want to write a script for my video, I'll select the video oral script option. Next, you have to describe the video topic. Always make sure to write a good detailed prompt to get an accurate and good result. For example, here I'm going to write a bedtime children's story. So I'll start by writing that in the prompt. Then I'll describe the story like a boy and his dad going on a spaceship adventure on a starry night. Be sure to include any specific character names if you have them in mind. For example, I might write Max and his dad Tom. After detailing the story, select the output language. There are many languages available, but I'll choose English. Click generate and the tool will provide a script based on your inputs. If you're not satisfied with the script, you can generate another until it fits your vision. Once the script looks good, copy it and paste it into a notepad for safekeeping. With our script ready, let's move on to creating visually appealing images for our animated video. It's important that the images captivate children's imaginations. Filmora's powerful AI image generating tool is perfect for this. Go back to Filmora, start a new project and select the aspect ratio. Typically 16, 9 for YouTube videos. Here you can import media from your PC but we'll create our images using Filmora. Click on stock media, then AI image. Now I'll refer back to the script to see what the first scene is about. For instance, if the script says a cozy little house by the edge of a forest, I'll copy this description and paste it into the prompt. You can add more details like nighttime and animated to ensure you get the exact image you envision. Below, you'll find some image models you can select. For animated children's stories, you might choose hand-drawn or ACG animation, comics or games. I'll select ACG and click generate. So here is the result. Wow, the image looks amazing. It's exactly what I imagined. I love how detailed it is, capturing the essence of the scene perfectly. You can always generate more options if needed, but this one looks great. Click download and then the plus icon to import it into the timeline. I'll also select another image as my second choice. Next, take a snapshot of each image by clicking this camera icon. It will automatically be saved in your device. This is an important step. I'll explain why later, so follow each step carefully. Now generate the second scene image. In the next scene, 
We want images of the boy Max and his dad Tom. I'll specify the characters. A boy named Max, a 10-year-old boy sitting in a room with brown hair and blue eyes. A pro tip. Always describe how your characters look to create consistent images. Here's my result. It's absolutely stunning and just as I described. The image perfectly captures the description. I'll take a snapshot of it to save it for later use. Now let's generate an image for the dad Tom. I'll describe him similarly. A dad named Tom, 30 years old with light brown hair and blue eyes. Again, specifying these details ensures the characters are consistent across all images. Here's the result for Tom. Again, it looks fantastic. The tool really brings the characters to life. I'll snapshot this image as well. The next scene is about a clear starry evening. So I'll write one clear starry evening, starry sky, beautiful and generate the image. Here it is, just like I imagined. Again, I'll take the screenshot of selected image. Next, Max and Daddy Tom sat on the porch gazing up at the sky. I'll copy these details and paste them into the prompt. Now make sure to add character details that we used. For instance, I'll say Max, who is a little 10 year old boy and Daddy Tom, who is 30 years old with blue eyes and light brown hair. Mentioning character details ensures you get the same characters in every image. Here is the image. It looks really good. Now the next scene is about them finding a box in the backyard. So let's generate this image. Okay, so here it is. I'll save it. Now in the same way, you have to generate images for all the scenes. I hope the image generating process is quite clear to you guys. Now let's move toward the next step. To add a dynamic element to your images and bring them to life, consider adding motion effects. This is an optional but highly recommended step if you want to make your video more engaging. For this, we will use Genmo AI. For this, go to Genmo AI and sign up. Simply upload your image and I'll upload my first scene image. Then write a prompt like a beautiful house in a forest. You can select some effects like zooming in or out or leave it on auto. Then generate. It will take a few seconds. Here is the result. Oh my God, guys, this is amazing. You can see it has brought life to our image. Now I'll simply download it. Now I'll go back and upload my second image. It will auto detect the prompt from the image, but you can still make changes if you want. Click generate. Here is the result. Amazing. Okay, so now in this way, you have to create videos out of all your images. This step is optional. If you're the kind of person who can put in a lot of effort into the videos, then this step will be perfect for you. But if you're someone who prefers a simpler process, you can skip this step and use static images. Now let's move on to the next part. Import all the clips you've generated and place them in order on the timeline. Then go to Titles, Subtitles and select any template. Then go back, copy your script and paste it over here. Now go to the text to speech option where we will generate our voiceover. You can select a voice from here or even create a clone of your own voice by recording a short sample. It's totally up to you. I'll select a voice from here. You can also play and check the voices available. Wondershare creativity sim Wondershare create Wondershare creativity simplified Choose the best voice according to your theme. I need a soft and exciting female voice so I'll select accordingly. Wondershare creativity simplified. This one voice sounds great. I'll select this one. Click generate. And here it's done. After generating the voiceover, we need to generate subtitles accurately. Remove the subtitle template we added previously. Now write, click on this voiceover and select speech to text. Click on add automatic active words. This feature will help generate accurate subtitles according to the speech. Click OK. 
and here it's done. Let me show you. Once upon a time, in a cozy little house by the edge of a forest, there lived a boy named Max and his loving father, Daddy Tom. It looks absolutely amazing. The next part is to add music. Go to the audio panel, click on music. You'll find a huge collection of background music. Make sure to select music that best suits the video theme as it's a very important point. Choosing the right kind of music is crucial for setting the mood and enhancing the storytelling. Like if you're creating a suspenseful story, opt for music with a tense or mysterious vibe. For a cheerful or adventurous children's story, go for something lively and upbeat. The right background music not only complements the narrative but also helps engage your audience more effectively. For example, for a children's adventure story, I might choose something exciting or uplifting. Before selecting the music, click on these three dots to check if it's available for commercial use. If you don't find music here that suits your needs, Filmora has a solution. You can generate your own music with the help of AI. Go to AI Music, add the mood, themes and genre. For example, I'll select the mood Suspense, then theme Motivational and Inspiring, so and uh, genre Beats. You can also adjust the music duration and the number of music tracks generated, then click Generate. So here I've got three music generations that I can use. You can either use these AI generated music or choose from their library. After selecting music, drag and drop it. You select onto the timeline. You can also add some sound effects from here to make your video sound more amazing. Sound effects can really bring your story to life and make it more engaging. Imagine adding the sound of rustling leaves for a scene set in a forest or the sound of a gentle breeze for a peaceful moment. These subtle touches can significantly enhance the atmosphere and make your video more immersive for example, in the first scene, I can add wind sound effects and so on. Filmora has a huge collection of sound effects, so you can take a benefit out of it. The last and main part is to add transitions and effects. Adding transitions and effects can make your video look smooth and polished. For instance, using a fade transition can give a scene a softer, more dreamy feel, perfect for bedtime stories. Visual effects like twinkling stars can add a magical touch, especially in scenes that depict night skies or fantasy elements. These enhancements help to create a seamless viewing experience. Go to the transition section. You'll find a variety of transitions here. Now, drag and drop them in between the clips wherever you like in the same way add effects. For example, I'll add this twinkling star effect in the scene where they show the starry night. So add transitions and effects to enhance your video further. Now, as everything is done, we can now export our video. But before you hit the export button, make sure to play through your video and check everything. Ensure all the clips, transitions, effects and sound elements are in the right place and working as intended. This final check helps to catch any small errors and ensures your video is polished and ready for your audience. Once everything is done, click on the export button. In the thumbnail panel, their AI tool can also generate a thumbnail from your video scenes. Click the export button to start rendering your video. Let me show you the final video now. Once upon a time in a cozy little house by the edge of a forest, there lived a boy named Max and his loving father, Daddy Tom. Max was an adventurous boy with a wild imagination, and Daddy Tom was always ready to turn Max's dreams into reality. One clear, starry evening, Max and Daddy Tom sat on the porch, gazing up at the sky. The stars sparkled like tiny diamonds, and Max said, Daddy, I wish we could touch the stars. Daddy Tom smiled and said, How about we go on a little adventure to reach them? Max's eyes widened with excitement. Really? How? Follow me, Daddy Tom said, and with a twinkle in his eye, he led Max to their backyard, where they found a big wooden box. What's that, Daddy? Max asked. It's our magical rocket ship, Daddy Tom replied. Tonight, we're going to take a journey to the stars. Max climbed into the box, and Daddy Tom followed. 
As soon as they were inside, the box began to shake and rumble. To Max's amazement, the wooden box transformed into a gleaming silver spaceship, complete with flashing lights and control panels. Max gasped in awe. It's a real spaceship, Daddy. Indeed it is, Daddy Tom said, fastening Max's seatbelt. Are you ready for liftoff? Max nodded eagerly. Ready? Daddy Tom pressed a big red button, and the spaceship's engines roared to life. They soared into the sky, higher and higher, leaving the Earth behind. Max watched in wonder as the stars grew closer and brighter. Look, Daddy! Max exclaimed, pointing out the window. There's a comet! Yes, Daddy Tom said. And over there is the Milky Way. After a while, Daddy Tom said, We're approaching the star we want to visit. Let's gently land. The spaceship descended gracefully onto the surface of a distant star. They stepped out, feeling the soft, warm glow of the starlight around them. Daddy Tom had set up a cozy blanket with pillows and a little telescope, just like he had planned. Let's take a look through the telescope, Daddy Tom suggested. Max peered through the telescope and saw the real stars twinkling high above. Wow, Daddy, they're even more beautiful up close, Max said, his voice filled with awe. Yes, they are, Daddy Tom agreed. And you know what? Even though we can't actually touch the stars, we can always reach them in our hearts and imaginations. Max hugged Daddy Tom and said, Thank you for the best adventure ever. Wow, guys, the video looks absolutely amazing. The visuals, the music, the transitions, everything came together perfectly to create a stunning children's story. And the best part? We achieved all of this using Filmora's powerful AI tools. From generating the script to creating captivating images and adding immersive sound effects, Filmora made the entire process smooth and efficient. Remember, while these tools are incredibly powerful, creating content and growing your channel takes time, consistency and dedication. You won't start earning $10,000 overnight, but with regular uploads, engaging content and continuous learning, you'll be well on your way to success. If you've been feeling disappointed and unable to achieve your goals, remember, it said that the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago and the second best time is now. So don't be disappointed. This is your opportunity to start today. So keep creating, stay inspired, and most importantly, have fun with the process. The link uh, to Filmora's website is in the description. Install it now, start creating your animated stories, and tell me about your videos in the comments. I'd love to watch and review them. Thanks for watching.